Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 27th annual African Hippopotamus race by Morris Lurie. So this is a very old middle fiction title and this is, you know, what middle fiction looked like way back when. It was first published in 1969 and this book was actually recommended to me by one of my literacy coaches as a really great, you know, short book club book for the early years in primary school. I'm going to read you the blurb on the back. It says, bang, went the pistol. 84 champion hippopotamuses hit the Zambula River. The crash was like thunder. It was the start of the 27th annual African hippopotamus race. A hilarious action-packed best-selling story about eight-year-old Edward's efforts to win the greatest swimming marathon of all and what it takes to be a champion. So this is about Edwin, who is an eight-year-old hippopotamus and whose family have been involved in this annual hippopotamus race for many years. His grandfather won a race, I think his father may have run a won a race and his grandfather takes it upon himself to start training Edward for it because he thinks Edward is a great swimmer. And so the first part of the book is Edward's training schedule and he misses out on a lot of things like going to school and being with his friends and things like that. But he wants to do his grandfather proud. So there's a, there's a good opportunity in there for some conversations around training versus free time. And when the race finally happens, Edwin is one of the youngest entering and there are so many hippopotamuses and he is not sure that he's good enough to participate and there's hippopotamuses with big egos and then he also makes a friend and when the race starts it's all very different to what you would first expect. There are characters who will do anything to win and who will cheat and Edwin is just doing his very best and in here there is that beautiful friendship element with his new friend, some teamwork, helping each other out, celebrating everyone's wins and it was just a really interesting read. I've not, I'd not read it before. I'd never seen it before. For such a, an old title, uh, it was interesting to come back to it. So this copy is the, part of the 50th anniversary edition. Sometimes you go back to old books and you go, ah, oh. like it's not, it's not perfect. And there are definitely things in there that probably have dated a little bit. And we would talk about with kids and put it into perspective of when this book was first published. But at the core of it, it is very much about persistence and what it means to be a graceful winner and a graceful loser, perhaps. Even talking about, you know, what does it take to become better at something that you really want to try? I had a lot of fun reading this one. I would never have picked it up had it not been recommended to me. So I'm very, very grateful to have heard about it. I'll leave links to where you can find out more information about the book down below. In the comments, I would love to know if you have read this book or if you have other books that are similar in style, either books that are, you know, older or books that are, that have recently been published. I miss the days where this, this was the length of a middle fiction title. In the comments, if you want to let me know that you're here, but you don't leave a comment, feel free to leave a hippo emoji down below. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.